It's no secret that good vision is a significant part of life. It impacts everything from work to leisure and just our general well-being. And yet, alarmingly, 30% of the population in Asia is myopic or nearsightedness, which means they can't see without the help of contact lenses or glasses. But there is good news. Advances in eye care technology, specifically in refractive eye care space, have come a long way. And now we have newer technologies that can allow you clear eyesight without the help of glasses or contact lenses. One such cutting edge technology arrived in India just last year. To tell us more about these advancements, I'm joined here today by Dr. Aditya Desai. Hmm. Dr. Desai is the Director and Chief Surgeon at CureSight Laser Center in Ahmedabad. He's known as the Young Visionary of Ophthalmology and he is highly experienced in doing refractive eye surgeries that have helped his patients get clear vision without the help of glasses or contact lenses. Thank you so much for joining us today, Dr. Desai. Thank you Desai. so much for your kind words and I'm happy to be here. Yeah, so uh, getting right into it, doctor, um, it seems that more and more people now need glasses than they did before. Does this have anything to do with the rise in screen time, particularly among younger people? Uh, I don't believe, I think it's partially true. Uh, it's not just the screen time. Uh, it's just that with the advances of technology out here. So now not only to remove numbers, but also the diagnostic uh, tools which are out there uh, in our arsenal, which help us to detect numbers at a very early age. Uh, so lot and more and more people due to me social media technologies and general awareness as such, uh, at a very small age, they get their kids checked uh, early. And so they get glasses at a, a very small age. It is totally a myth that uh, with more screen time, more uh, working on computers or more phone time uh, causes increasing numbers or everything. It just causes digital eye strain which leads to dryness and causes blurring. But it has no correlation about more and more people getting glasses just due to screens as per se. So for all these people who are being diagnosed with myopia, for people who want to get rid of their glasses, can you tell us about some new advancements that could potentially help them, technology? Yeah, sure. Uh, so basically in order to understand the new advancement, we need to go back in the past. Because right now there are five generations of uh, LASIK procedures out there. It all started back in 1995 when the first PRK procedure was introduced which revolutionized or I would say which created the benchmark for LASIK surgeries out there. Then uh, with the years came the LASIK laser procedure, the blade free procedure which we which is popularly known as the femtosecond procedure, the contour vision which is like a topo guided procedure for your eye and the most promising I would say or the latest thing right now uh, is the silk elita by Johnson & Johnson which is uh, the newest and has wonderful results. So you mentioned Silk by Elita. Could you tell us a little bit more about this procedure? How does it work? Uh, yeah, sure. So initially when we used to do LASIK procedures, we used to create a flap. In order to understand flap, I need to tell you a thing that whatever laser we do, there are six layers of your cornea. We do it on the third layer. So the laser operation initially we was divided into two parts that we have to reach the third layer and do the lasers. So in order to reach the third layer, we used to make a flap that is raise the two layers, the third layer gets exposed, we remove the numbers via laser and we place the flap back. But the beauty of Elita machine is that we don't need to create a flap, it is a flapless procedure. The lasers are directed directly on the third layer, we separate a portion of your third layer and remove it via a 2-4 to four mm small pocket and this just helps us to remove numbers uh, the very next day the person can see. Uh, I'd like to know a little bit more about silk that you were talking about. What is it that makes it so unique or sets it apart from you know your traditional LASIK treatment? Uh, so in silk surgery, there it, I would say it's a very minimally invasive thing because the la like I s said before that the lasers are directed directly on the third layer. We are not touching the other two layers. So less nerve involvement, so it causes almost nil dryness or glare problems which are associated with the older operations or flap related things. So there are also problems like flap related complications or um, anything like when a person gets hurt. 
uh, the flap can move within the recovery period. In this, the recovery is just within three days and the person can get back to their work. So it has a very speedy recovery as well. You can resume to your natural reading, writing, computer, sports or anything within two to three days. So basically this uh, in this treatment, we can also customize the whole treatment according to your app. So uh, it will be a unique treatment for you. Um, so if uh, just imagine we both have like three numbers in our, e our app. So the treatment won't be the same for you and me. It, it will be according to your corneal topography, uh, which is scanned before operation. And the machine will make a proper treatment plan, which is best suited for you. Mm -hmm. uh, and the plan will be made by which is best suited for me. So we'll have unique treatment. So it offers a wide variety of customization as well. What about the clinical results from the silk procedure? What has the feedback from your patients been like? Uh, so the results have been really good because the best thing about uh, the silk procedure is that it has can correct up to wide range of numbers from minus 1 to minus 12 if you have spherical numbers if you have astigmatism or cylinder numbers which we call it you can correct from 0.25 to almost 6 numbers see from the older version it is a step up uh, another thing is there is no lag period uh, in uh, seeing that is from the very next day you can resume to your normal day-to-day -day routine. You don't have to take care much about healing process. Uh, in the older versions you have to take care of your eyes for 15-20 days. The patient faces dryness, difficulty in driving which doesn't occur in the silk procedure. Uh, from the very next day you can uh, get back to your computer work reading writing you can even drive your car you can from the third fourth day you can even play sports do swimming now which uh, in the older version you had to wait for a month mm -hmm. so in terms of result it's a wow effect for the patients from the very next day uh, and so far there are no complications from any patients i have operator neither they have come back to me uh, complaining anything so it's a very promising technology and I would definitely recommend it. And with like your traditional LASIK, for instance, um, there are recommendations like you are not supposed to wash your hair for a few days or, you know, restrictions on movement. Are there any such restrictions with? Uh, not with the, uh, not with silk. So basically you can wash your hair from the next day. Uh, you can use uh, shampoo, face wash. Now uh, we, in the older uh, time, older versions, we used to say that for 15 days, you don't have to apply water inside your eye or you cannot rub your eyes that you can start from the third day itself so in uh, it becomes very easy for the patient to get back to normalcy rather than living in fear that uh, if we do something uh, some complication will occur and somehow then we won't get proper vision in the future so in terms of that it is very speedy recovery now, because all of this information can be really confusing and overwhelming, Dr. Desai has taken out some time to show us how the silk procedure actually works. Yeah, of course. So basically, silk, which is short for smooth incision lenticular keratomelusis. Now, we do it on the Elita machine, which is a refractive suite by Johnson & Johnson. So basically, to give you a basic uh, know-how of the machine, the patient's couch is here, the patient sleeps, um, self-explanatory, they have to put their head here. Uh, this is where the main magic happens. So we can choose if, uh, in, if you want to treat one eye, it is OD, OD is right, OS is left, OU is both eyes. So we want to treat both eyes. Uh, then the corneal thickness, which we have uh, diagnosed pre-operatively, we just put it, we put a nice 550 microns, which is a healthy cornea. Um, then we have an option of both things on this machine, either to create a flap with laser or we create a lenticule, which we call it as the silk procedure. And in uh, what kind of cases would you use a flap? Uh, so basically in a uh, few cases where the corneal thickness uh, is a bit less or uh, if the numbers are too high, because in, there are chances that if there are numbers are too high, in some cases, we want to do resurgery. It is easier to do it on a flap. 
so we can do uh, for such cases also we can do or if the patient just chooses by themselves that i want to go for the traditional flap procedure so the elita not only just the, uh, creates a lenticule that is for the silk procedure it also creates a flap so after that we'll just uh, decide which this is the flap this is the silk procedure then we'll just write the numbers for example you have minus 3 numbers you don't have you have like point 0.25 cylinder axis will keep it at 180 so whatever your initial numbers i have to put it and then they have created a normogram according to that like minus 3 i have to add minus 0.55 so accordingly i will just add uh, a normogram This is your corneal curvature and this will just show us what will be our treatment plan, how much depth I want to go. I can additionally change uh, at what depth I have to go, what energy of laser I can choose, how many nanojoules and everything. So I can customize the whole treatment according to your eye. In some cases, I want to save more corneal thickness. So I will uh, change the parameters and try to save as much tissue for you as possible. So this way I can interchange everything for your right and left eye. So once that all is done, uh, I'll just go to the next window. I will make you sleep on the couch, putting your head here. Uh, this is a laser PI or laser cone. So what it has a few components, I'll explain you that. So initially, what will we do? There is a laser PI which we will attach to the prism here in the machine so it will go something like this and it also has another attachment which we call it as the vacuum ring so the one end of it will go into the machine which will help to produce a vacuum the usefulness of the vacuum ring is such that uh, if you are you have any anxiety or if you are scared it will just hold your eye, it will not let you close your eye. So the lasers are uh, properly placed in the desired position. So once I place that uh, cone on your eye and I turn the vacuum on in the machine, the machine will then I'll just dock the two things, the prism, the patient PI and the cone. Once they are attached with this foot switch, I'll just press and the treatment will start and it takes about 15 to 17 seconds to just finish the procedure. It is that quick. So you just, it's not that the, uh, many people are scared, oh, the lasers are going to be in the eye, that will destroy my, no, these are very targeted and safe femtosecond laser. So we initially, like I showed you in the plant, it will go in the exact depth which we have pre-planned for you. It won't go anywhere else. And once these lasers are done, We'll just shift it to another OT and under a microscope, I will just remove the lenticule, a part of your corneum from a 2 mm small uh, gap. And with that, the next day you will be able to see very properly without any problem. So before we wrap up quickly, is there anything that you would like to tell our viewers who are looking to get their vision corrected? Uh, so yeah, first thing I would like to say, if you go for the procedure, First, talk to an expert, talk to your doctor about the pros and cons. Uh, get your reports done properly, whether it is safe for you or not. Because all these procedures are based on cornea. So is your corneal health good? Uh, will this laser be safe for you? Uh, if it's 100% safe, then, then only just go for it. Uh, talk to them about the different technologies, how they will affect your eyes. Uh, how they would be useful to you and which would be the best technology for you. There are a lot of uh, different machines out there, a lot of technologies out there. I would just recommend people not to look at just cost because uh, you don't compromise with your lifestyle. You don't compromise for getting new phones or cars or anything like that. Then why do you want to compromise with your eyes? So just go for the best which is suitable for your eye 
don't take decisions don't rely on google alone because with google you have just half knowledge about the things talk to an expert list the questions you have and then take your call thank you so much dr desai sure.